In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can connect our Nest.js application to PostgreSQL database, which we installed in our last lecture. So here I am in VS Code. Let's go ahead and let's open VS Code built-in terminal. Let's clear the terminal here. So in order to connect our Nest.js application to the PostgreSQL database, we need to install three additional packages. For that, here, let me type npm install command. So we are going to install these packages from npm. And the first package which we want to install is type ORM. We have already learned what type ORM is and why we need it in our Nest.js application. So here, the type ORM is going to be our ORM, the object relational mapper, which we are going to use in order to work with the PostgreSQL database from our Nest.js application. Then we also need a package nest.js slash type ORM. So this package, it is basically the nest.js binding for type ORM. And this enables you to export certain methods, which will allow you to connect your nest.js application with type ORM. So in order to work with type ORM from our nest.js application, we need this package. And finally, we also need PostgreSQL driver, which is PG. So basically, based on the database that you are using, the type ORM would need you to install a specific database driver. So type ORM also has a dependency on a database driver. Based on the database that you are using, type ORM would need you to install a specific database driver. In this case, since we are using PostgreSQL database, in order to use type ORM to work with PostgreSQL database, we need to install PG driver. This is a PostgreSQL database driver. With this, let's press enter and let's wait for this installation to complete. So as you can see, the installation has started. Let's wait for this installation to complete. So as you can see, the installation is complete. If we go to package.json file and if we scroll down to dependencies object, there you will see that nest.js type ORM has been installed and the version is 10.0.2. The PG driver has been installed and the version is 8.13.1 as well as type ORM is installed and here the version is 0.3.20. All right, so we have already installed the packages which we need to connect our Nest.js application to PostgreSQL database. Now let's go to app module.ts file where we have our app module, the main module of our Nest.js application. Let me also close this terminal here. And here, the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to import type ORM module from nest.js slash type ORM. So this is required in order to connect our nest.js application to PostgreSQL database. Okay, then in the import array, let's also go ahead and let's import this type ORM module. And on this, we need to call for root to this for root method we need to pass a configuration object this configuration object specifies the settings of your database so here let's pass an object like this and in here we need to specify the configurations the data source options in order to connect to our postgresql database and for this if you go to the documentation of type orm to this website typeorm.io here you can see the documentation you can see how you can start working with the data source using type orm but here what i am interested in is i am interested in the data source options so basically the data source option specifies how you want to connect to your database okay and for the data source options we have two options we have common data source options because data source when we use type ORM the databases can be any databases it can be MySQL database it can be PostgreSQL database it can be Oracle database okay so for all those databases there will be some common data source options and then there will be some database specific options for example MongoDB data source options here we will have data source options specific to MongoDB then here we have data source options specific to MS SQL 
but what we are interested in is we are interested in postgres sql database so here we have postgres and cockroach db database source options so first let's see the common data source options for that let's scroll down and here you can see these are the data source options these are the common data source options which we can use from here we are going to use type so what type of database we want to connect to so in our case the type will be postgres then we can also specify extra so extra option to be used to underlying driver so if there is any extra option which you want to specify you can use this option then we have entities so this entities is an array of entities that you pass to your configuration based on which the type ORM is going to create tables in your database and we are going to learn what entities is in our coming lectures for now we are going to add this option with an empty array and then there is one more option which we are going to use and that is synchronize so remember that the synchronize should only be used in development mode what synchronize does is it automatically creates databases schema in your application so it can be destructive in production mode if you use it in production mode you can end up losing your data so let's first go ahead and let's first add these three options we are going to add type we are going to add entities and we are going to add synchronize let's go to vs code and in here let's go ahead and let's specify type so type here is going to be postgres and then the next option is entities we are going to keep it as empty array next we are going to specify synchronize and we are going to set it to true so this option we are only going to use for development environment in the production environment we will remove it okay then let's go ahead and let's see some of the database specific data source options so in our case we are using postgres sql so let's click on this and it will take us to this list in this list you can see what are the postgres sql database specific options so here we are going to use the host basically the database host in our case it is local host the port on which our database server is running the username the password and the database name okay and if you want to see other options you can check these options and you can see what these options will help you do but here we are only interested in these five options so let's go back to vs code and let's go ahead and let's add those options so first let's add host host should be localhost then let's add port on which our postgresql database is running it is running on 5432 so this is the default port on which the postgresql database is running on our local host and the property name should be port then username if you remember the username is postgres and then let's also specify the password so the password in my case is admin1234 and finally let's specify the database name so in the last lecture we created a database called nestjs so this is our database name and with these settings in place we have successfully connected this nestjs application to the postgresql database and if i save the changes here and if we go to the terminal you will see that we do not have any errors here but if i change the password let's say 12345 in that case i'm specifying a wrong password and when i'm specifying a wrong password in that case nestjs will not be able to connect to the postgresql database and in that case we should see an error if i go back to the terminal you'll see that it's trying to compile and now we have an error and it says unable to connect to the database and now it is retrying to connect but it will not be able to connect because we have provided a wrong password so let me go ahead and let me provide the right password let's save the changes and now it should have been connected successfully as you can see we don't have any error anymore so in this way we have connected our nestjs application to the postgresql database now this connection which we have specified here using this for root method this is called as synchronous connection so in the next lecture let's understand what is synchronous and asynchronous connection and which one we should use in our application this is all from this lecture 
If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.